Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at our second layout related component, which is the stack component. This again is a component we have seen earlier in the series. So in this video, let's take a closer look at it. The stack component is used to manage layout in one dimension, either along the vertical or the horizontal axis. Let's understand its usage in props with an example. For this example, we are going to continue working with the MUI layout component. Begin by importing the stack component. Next, instead of React fragments, I'm going to use the stack component. To help visualize the component, I'm also going to add a border to this component using the SX prop. So SX is an object where we specify border as one pixel solid. By default, the stack component arranges all the children elements in a column. So display flex and flex direction column is the default style. If you take a look at the browser, you can see there is no change. However, you can change that using the direction prop. So direction is equal to row will arrange the elements in a row. You can also set it to row reverse, which will arrange from the right and column reverse, which will arrange from the bottom. Now, if you want spacing between the elements, you can make use of the spacing prop. This again, by default is a numeric value, which gets multiplied by eight pixels. So spacing is equal to two, which will add 16 pixels between the items. Take a look at the browser and we see the separation. The last prop I want to show is the divider prop, which inserts an element between each child. Now MUI also provides a divider component that works well with this prop. So at the top, import divider and on the stack component, let's change the direction to row and add divider is equal to the divider component with a prop called orientation is equal to vertical. And we also specify this is a flex item. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see this faint vertical divider in between the two boxes. And what you should also know is the MUI system properties like padding, margin are all supported by the stack component and you can specify them as props directly on the component. Since we have touched on the topic in the previous video, I'm not going to repeat it in this video. So that is about the stack component which is useful for one dimensional layouts. In the next video, let's take a look at the grid component, which is used for two dimensional layouts. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.